Ken City neighborhood officially put on notice. Stop the violence or lose your home. This neighborhood along 43rd between Troost and Tracy. Take a look at this map. It shows all the gunshots picked up by shot spotters since last February. The most 120 shots near 43rd and Forest. Michael Mahoney was there when officials confronted neighbors. People there aren't happy. Hold your up, team. I'm Hold your it up. Cause I don't know. I don't know if I did. No, I will tell the public. A woman believed to be Dolores Wilson stormed out of her house at 43rd and 4th this afternoon. Police say this is a place of brawls, crowds, and gunfire. Over 200 shots have been fired from this residence or around this residence in the past year. Baker is serving papers telling Wilson to stop or the house will be declared a public nuisance and seized. This is Wilson's sister. You gonna pay us for it? This is my mama's house. We was born and raised here 50 years. Do you understand that? I know she's angry, but so am I. So am I. Peters Baker had neighbors with her when she served the papers. Do you worry about her shooting at you now? Shut it off. <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> yeah. Other relatives say that Wilson has a big family and the home's a gathering spot. As the Jackson County prosecutor tells the owner she's in danger of losing what the prosecutor says is her troublesome home. Chris? Police use listening devices called shot spotters to find where gunshots are being fired. Wilson's house isn't the only one in the neighborhood where the shot spotter is tracking gunfire.